Hello viewers. Today I am planning to show you some interesting topics. Yesterday uh, I discussed you how to avoid the page load on button a click event or some event fired in the page. So today I am going to show you. Uh, suppose if the page load is happen, we used update panel to avoid that things. So now uh, in the meantime, it will be kind of action. So we need to show some customer like uh, actually the thing is processing or it's loading or something we have to display. For that, I am planning to uh, make one design to show customer like the pages is loading from the back end. Please wait for a moment. So uh, what I am going to do is before that one, I will just run my application and show you like uh, the error which is happening there it's not actually the error it's uh, avoid the page load but we need uh, something to display the customer like please wait a moment or it's uh, getting the access from the server or something like that so i am running my application now So most of the website, if suppose if you are click some button events or something, you will feel the difference. Like uh, if they will uh, open up some uh, loading symbol or something to make to wait the customer with some user friendly concepts. So we are going to follow the same here. Suppose this is my inventory page. I am here. Suppose. I'm select the company name. Company name is something like GGG. I saw my page is getting loaded, but uh, we avoided that one by using update panel. So you feel the difference. It takes some time to get the result actually. Suppose uh, if I give TTT, see uh, it takes time time uh, to get the result from the server. So uh, in that time, we will display some kind of messages that it's getting uh, uh, data from the server. So what I am planning to do is, I planning to use uh, one more control called update progress. Actually, update progress, uh, what it's do is, uh, it's uh, give the set of uh, progress template while uh, the panel is getting uh, running. So I just add my control update progress. We set some ID like a PPP something one or something. I run it server so it's running the server. And my associated panel, it's asking for which panel, like which update panel, uh, time which panel loads that time I have to display this message. So my updated panel ID is panel one. I just copy this one and just paste over here. Fine. Now I have the progress template. So I just add up this one. So here I am planning to add some content. I already been uh, customized my CSS and my progress template or things so i just going to add my styles there this is my styles so you can customize your design according to your website so i simply go and add things in my header and i have my design uh, inside the progress so i'm just add this inside okay fine now I need a, a image of uh, the loading image so what I am going to do is I just to go and get the loading image control copy I just planning to paste this inside my folder okay fine I have the set of things okay I am just checking one more time this is my path is correct or not I pick my URL from the image 
my loading jpeg fine now uh, i debug my application again so it is very simple to show some kind of messages by using the update progress control my inventory i am searching some name like that see now i am displaying some loading symbol while the server is getting loaded see it's how nice to see this kind of uh, events in our page so the customer easily realize that uh, some action is going in back end so he can't do any kind of edit or delete or something while the progress is running see cited all the things we can set the background obesity everything so this is one nice experimental asp.net provided for us to handle the postback events thanks for watching the video if you have any doubt please comment us